So most feared Big Ten stadiums. So a lot of people, what they do is they say, well, these are the best Big Ten stadiums. Uh, I don't want to ask you guys like your best Big Ten stadiums. What I want to ask is like for you and your team personally. All right. So me as an Ohio State fan, Travis used to Michigan State, Russ, you as a Purdue fan. Like what are the Big Ten stadiums that you fear going to the most not because like oh i don't like the stadium or you know it's a bad parking or something like that like i don't want to know that like what yeah. what stadiums do you fear your team going to the most in the big 10 i'll give an example like i know there's a lot of really really good stadiums out there but it seems like every time ohio state goes to purdue i get a little knot in my stomach where i'm like i just i don't feel good about this i'm not saying that purdue is like the best stadium in the big 10 or anything like that but Ohio State has not had good history going to Purdue. And so at the end of the day, like they're kind of an underrated one where it kind of gives me a little bit of a knot in my stomach because I'm just not totally uh, sold that Ohio State is going to win the game there every single time. Russ, let's start with you. What are some of your most feared stadiums in the Big Ten? Well, so I'll, I'll think of it in terms kind of like what you said, like going to a place that you have a chance to win, but you just know it's tough to win there. And you know, I think about all the Big Ten West, you know, teams that we've had to go battle on the road that, you know, the, the rivalries we've kind of had with, you know, Minnesota, Nebraska, you know, Iowa, those teams, it's it's always, you know, even though you might be having the better season to go to those places and try to pull out a win, especially that, you know, Nebraska has got one of the most storied, you know, stadiums and the fact that you go in and you can't see out that thing. Like it's the it's a full bowl. It's not even like a horseshoe, like a high state. When you're there, you're you're like in the thick of it and they are crazy and they lock out away teams. Like it's a sea of red. And so you can go in with a better record and you still don't like your chances. So, you know, Nebraska is definitely up there. And then, you know, Iowa of course has known for, you know, having a pretty good football atmosphere there. You know, those, you know, those Midwest States where they don't, they don't have a pro team. Their, their college team is their pro team. So they, they show up and they show out. And so it it gets, it gets hostile, even though they might wave at the little children's hospital, you know, that's, it's not, it's not a nice place to go, to go play. Um, And then Minnesota, especially if you're playing up there late in the year um, and you're out in that weather now, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it can be, be some trouble up there. Yeah, no, I agree. I I think Minnesota is an underrated one. You never see Minnesota up there being talked about, but it is a, it is a stadium that you have to fear. You have to fear going into, um, Brian Myers says, I think Brian's a Buckeye fan. He says, uh, been to eight so far taking the shoe out of the equation. My difficult ranking is Penn state, Nebraska, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan, Michigan, Northwestern and Michigan state. Uh, yeah, Penn state, like Penn State is really, really good. Don't get me wrong, but it is amped up even more when you're facing yeah. that wide out. In my opinion, best stadium environment in all of the country when the Penn State is having their wide out and they have a big game in there uh, and they're really rocking it. Uh, there is no no stadium better. Travis, your thoughts? Yeah. Uh, well, just building off of Penn State, that was one of the ones I had on on my list. Yeah. I remember going, uh, I think it was my freshman year of high school, went to see Michigan state and Penn state play at happy Valley. And it was just crazy. One of the craziest environments I've ever been in. And we just got absolutely, we got our asses kicked in that one. Um, and it was just crazy. And they, I think I have written down here, we're, we're three and eight in happy Valley since 2000. So not great. Um, we're even worse in Nebraska. That was the top one I had. I think we've, we've won once ever in Nebraska. So that's that's not a good start there. Uh, I mean, we hadn't beat them ever in general till 2013. So that's wow, not 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 great. Um, and then Columbus is a is a tough one for us, even though we've come up with some upsets in there. We're nine and eighteen overall. And then with uh, with everybody coming in from the West Coast from the Pac-12, I think. It's a good opportunity to throw this in there that we uh, we have not won a true road game on the West Coast since 1957. Wow. So hmm. any of those games are just absolute automatic frightening. We beat Cal 19. Especially if you're going out there at night. If you're playing oh, at yeah. night out there, I don't know if anybody's, you know, I, I get, I love college football. So I've been that, that guy that, you know, you get home from the game, you might w- go watch Purdue play or Michigan State play. By the time you get done tailgating, you get home, you turn the TV on and there's UCLA, UCSC and UCLA playing. And it's like 11 o'clock at night on the East Coast. But those atmospheres at night on the West Coast are crazy. You know, the Rose yeah. Bowl, 
playing up there and you know in Austin, like it's Austin Stadium, like it's it's going to be some crazy atmospheres. You have to go out there and play a night game on the West Coast because as, as hard as it's going to be for them to travel across the country to a Maryland or a Rutgers, it's I think it's going to be even harder to travel out there and try to win a game. Yeah. I have some 2023 average attendance that I thought was interesting because I was just giving Minnesota their props and they are fifth last in the big 10 with 48,453, but it doesn't seem that way when you like when you watch Minnesota on TV. So I don't know if maybe their average yeah. is going down by some of their cupcake games or something like that, but it doesn't seem that way. Um, Joel Clapp put Oregon. Was it number two or number one on like his most feared, uh, Big Ten stadiums now, they only averaged 55,895 last year. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is uh, middle of the pack, so eighth worst. Purdue's got to be in that range, too, because Purdue showed out last year, even even with their Purdue is actually one spot higher than Oregon with 58,248. That was another thing that I was like, man, Purdue's having more fans there. Showing out, yeah. I took my dad to the Minnesota game after we'd gotten eliminated from bowl contention, and I was nervous as to what kind of atmosphere it was going to be, and it was like 90, 95% full for a game that basically meant nothing, and I was like, dang, this, this, this program is behind Coach Walters, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, uh, LFG capacity of Oregon Stadium. It's not big. That was the thing I was going to point out after that is that um, I, can't, I can't remember what the capacity is, but it's not as large as some of the other other stadiums. What is the capacity for Purdue, Russ? Do you know? It's only like sixty one thousand, I think. Okay, right about yeah. So it's just right post the sellouts every single time, three thousand mm-hmm. less than three thousand away. Um, the, the parts of the, the stadium that weren't really full were the it's called the J, the JPC section, which is John Purdue Club. They're the big boosters um, for Purdue, and and that was that was pretty um, disappointing as a Purdue fan. As kind of like a I, I'd say like a blue collar kind of an, an everyday Purdue fan, I would consider myself like not not one of those big money donors to go to a game like the, the home opener against Fresno State and see pretty much every seat in the house full. But then you look at that little section where the nice you know, big money donors sit and it's like 10% full and you're just like, really? Come on. Like, yeah. Uh, LFG 54,000 for Oregon. Appreciate that LFG. I couldn't look that up during it. That's a, that's amazing. 54,000 capacity and they average 55,895. So there's something, (laughs) there must be some secret seats or something in there. Uh, but yeah, they can always squeeze a few more in there or whatever but um yeah no and uh another one that i'm gonna mention I, ohio state hasn't played there in a long long time but um washington the way they have that stadium structured where they have the the pieces that go over the top and all the sound just stays like you hear players talk about how like the sound just does not leave that place yeah. it's almost like just this well-made dome to where it just all the all this the sound stays inside of it um yeah washington is another one that i'm not going to look forward to uh watching ohio state play at because it uh the way they structured that thing it's it's luckily with the size of the conference you only have to play there like once every 12 years so i was gonna say all these stadiums we're not gonna be playing there very much so um Dave says Minnesota holds 51,000. So Minnesota averages 48,453. So they're kind of the same boat as Purdue there. We're only about 3,000 off of uh, having a sellout each time. So, so yeah, uh, your, your big boys at the top, I guess you could say they're also the biggest stadiums. Uh, Michigan 109, 971 is there at, was their average last year? Penn State 108, 409, uh, Ohio State 103, 7. 92 and then the next one after that was nebraska at 86 uh 802 so those are kind of your your biggest ones there but i i tell you i hate every single time people talk about the biggest or the the best stadiums or whatever because it's only just an sec list because the sec has all these high attendance because they have the highest capacity stadiums but i guarantee you like you would not want to go play at iowa versus mississippi state or you would not want to go play at minnesota versus you know insert random sec team here i I don't even know who to think of Ole Miss, whatever you know like you wouldn't want to go play uh versus some of those other places but you know that's espn and all the the media giants for you right (laughs) so 